harness. Here you are, sir. Here, go ahead and put this on, just like a backpack. Is this your first time, dude? Yes, it is. First time ever putting that on? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. Yep. I still got the wrapper and the stem in my head. Yeah. <laughs> the wrapper on me and the stem on my head. Brand new. Okay, here we go. So we try and get our A's on top, and the A's go to the front of the glider. So Okay. The front riser is your A. Mm -hmm. Notice that's connected to the front of the glider. Mm -hmm. Okay, now you stand right here. Now we're hooking in backwards because you're actually facing the glider. Mm -hmm. So to correct for that, we're gonna flip a 180 to the right. Okay. Now this, we have to start from the harness. So look at this strap clear down to the leg strap. When you pull left brake three inches, your right hand has to go up three inches. So it's very important to think in inches and not in feet. Everybody wants to bury four feet of brake to start. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. It's small. You pull until the glider responds, mm -hmm. then stop. Okay. So small, quick little corrections. Gotcha. Let's walk it. You got to stay upwind of me. Okay. So walk it that way. Yep. Stay away and face the glider so we don't get anything twinned or tangled. We walk her out. And K. Okay. Let's go ahead and stop for a sec. There you go. So hands forwards to the pulleys. Yep. And then run backwards run backwards and left brake your left hand stop stop don't move so you need to pull your left hand your left hand down and back okay now face the glider all right whatever you do when it's upside down never walk backwards okay see how the leading edge is open uh -huh. if you back up it'll scoop it full of sand okay so it's upside down but we need to open it so right brake left brake there you go, two inches left, nice job. There you go, left brake, left, right. Quick right, three inches, three inches, pull right brake another inch. And left brake, two inches, bam, hit it, left. More, right hand up, right brake, stop it. Don't overdo it, right brake, turn right. Turn right, left hand forward, right brake, you gotta pull the right brake. So don't pull towards your groin or you'll run out of space. You gotta pull to the right, hands up, let it fly. Left brake, left brake, hands up, hands up, hands up, let it fly, run backwards to the ocean. Back up, right brake, right brake, pull. Pull your right brake. You gotta pull, you gotta correct it. Hands up, hands up, left brake. Pull, left hand. Nope, not three feet, inches. Pull till you get pressure, right brake. So we need to go uh, both brakes to open it a little bit. And then hard left brake once it's open. Okay, left brake, turn left. Yep. Hard left brake, hard, 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 hard. Flip it over, left, 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 and left. Hands up, and right brake. There you go, right, left, nice, right. There you go. I just look at which way the twist is going, and then I turn it according to untwisting it, right? Right an inch, left an inch. Nice job. There you go. Left an inch, left, right, right, left, right, right, left. There you go. Stay right on it. Pieces, feet together. Right break, two inches. Fix it. Make it happen. So make it happen faster. Right break, nail it. Right break, nail it. Pull it, pull it. Bam, left. So when you start losing it, boom quickly pull three inches and fix it very fast okay looks good okay keep your chest inside the risers right brake uh, okay. get it up there i was trying to figure out how can i get on the inside without it yep turn right turn right <laughs> fix it left brake left brake right 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 chest forward in the risers chest in the risers right brake bring it up I fix that on the go Yep. Well, you just got to keep your chest forward. Every time you lean backwards, you lose it. So you got to keep that chest in. There you go, a little right. And ease off, relax, relax, relax. Let me control your body. Now just let go of the brakes. Drop them. Walk that way, walk that way. Face the glider and left. So you got to let me control you. There you go, left, right. There we go, left. There you go. Don't overdo it, don't overdo it. No, nothing more. Just what we're making you do. Just a little bit. There you go. Nice and smooth. And round off the edges so you're not too jerky. So you're smooth. Don't overdo it. There you go. Yeah, a little left. A little right. Yeah, left. There you go. Back up. You don't go forwards. Lean right. Lean right. Lean, 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 lean. Stick your butt up. Left, 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 left. You overdid it. Left, lean, lean, lean. Turn and face me. Bow to your master. Bow, bow. Lean right, lean right, lean right. Lean right. Interestingly enough, that's actually correct. <laughs> Did you see it worked? Yeah. <laughs> so that's the posture. You you actually lean away at a 45 and bow. 
when it goes the wing tip to the ground. Lean right, easy, easy, you're overdoing it, you're overdoing it, relax, relax, relax. Right. Just what you need, nothing overdoing it. There you go, and don't walk downwind. Right. Little right, walk that way, boom. It's just like a broomstick, you need to stay under the center of the glider. Lean left and walk under your broomstick. Say you're launching in, in zero wind at high altitude. If you pull hardly any brakes at all when you're just getting the glider going, you're gonna stall or spin the glider because there's no wing loading. So at higher altitudes in no winds, it's all about being able to control the glider perfectly with no hands. The other big thing is loading. You see everybody trying to launch their paramotor and they're plugging along and all their body weight is on their legs. Again, completely wrong. The second that wing is up and building lift, it's immediately lifting your body weight off of you. If you stand up and load your legs with all your body weight, that's when you take a collapse. So when you're flying a motor, it's very critical that you're loading the glider and carrying a portion of your body weight, which is exactly what I'm doing right now. Notice my butt is not above my feet. There is almost no weight. Who's gonna be my volunteer? Who's gonna, all right, Wes, come on over. No, he's gonna hold your hand. I, nope, back, okay. So, go ahead and push my foot. Just push, yep, push. Now, how much do I weigh? no-win launch you know at high altitude by doing a no-win launch at high altitude because you only get six to ten seconds of practice so it would take you 88,000 no-win launches at high altitude to equal about the hours we get in 10 days of training at the beach so it's much better to get 10 days of training at the beach than 50 years trying to get 88,000 no-win performance <laughs> 